just a boy from Kansas out to save the world from chronic diseases. And I truly mean that. Nobody is in control of your health but you. I can't heal you. Your doctor can't heal you. You have to heal you. And it's all about having the education empowerment to know what you need to be changing within yourself, within your life, to set your soul free and accomplish that best life that we all like to talk about. And I truly believe that the greatest medicine of all is to teach people how not to need it. I'm Brendan Vermeyer, the original Holistic Savage. Welcome to the Holistic Savage Podcast. You know, fundamental thing or like Neil always talks about how, um, you know, 70% of the time the mycotoxins are kind of the uh, public enemy number one. And it's like until we get Ooh. that situation under control, how are we possibly going to get the, you know, co-infections under control as well? Yeah, yeah. Or well, the gut or the heavy metals or whatever it might be. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh. So you mentioned... Yeah, um, and that's... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, so that's that's a big thing always that, you know, like let's say you have a patient, you've been doing microbiome work with, they're not getting better, think mold. Got a Lyme disease patient, they're not getting better, think mold. You got a heavy metal patient that's not getting better, think mold. It's just it's just such a huge key at this point in, in our existence. And, and um, I'm not sure why that is the case, but it, it seems to be a real hidden and, and the other thing about it is it's very subtle. I don't know if you've noticed that in a lot of cases. It yeah. often doesn't come out straight away. It's pretty rare that people say, yeah, I'm really living in a massive, you know, I'm living in the, a place that was um, pictured in the movie Fight Club and there's water falling off the, the roof. And, right, right. You know, yeah, you know, there's, not, there's not, not much of that. You know, it's often often that, you know, my gut's not feeling that great and I've got something going on and you start working on that. And then it comes out, you know, maybe, maybe I was living in a moldy building about you know six seven years ago it was pretty bad maybe that comes out on consult number seven right mm-hmm. it's it's quite subtle sometimes you know and it's like okay here we go mm-hmm. <laughs> this is something that hasn't come out yet yeah and so it is very subtle in subtle in that way that you know people often aren't aware of it in a very conscious way but i think what it is is people are unconsciously aware of it and often mm-hmm. when you build a level of rapport with them that right. they start becoming comfortable to just say anything mm-hmm. and that's often when they'll they'll start they'll start telling you about mm-hmm. it which is a really interesting thing it's an interesting phenomenon mm-hmm. you're so <laughs> right well and that's what it, it it gets hard and uh i mean that's that's why i'm so passionate about what i'm doing these days because Before you know it, I mean, even just this conversation, I I really think sort of elucidates and speaks to the necessity for um, just like a next level type of practitioner that is putting it all together. Because, gosh, I mean, we're talking about like some in-depth psychological navigation and spiritual, but then the hard science as well. And it's like, there's not many, I don't know that many professionals that kind of put it all together. It's almost like, you know, with um, like in in Reiki and kind of energetic medicine and stuff, it's all about, you know, holding a space, right? And, you know, whether you're a counselor or a Reiki practitioner or a functional medicine person, like we do have to get really damn good at holding a safe space for the client or patient to let that energy flow, whether, you know, that trauma and, and how that coincides with the toxicity. So, 